and I will to, to be more efficient I will split my screen and uh, here I already uh, made it so I want to copy it They are in different Hellman key exchange in OpenSSL. First thing is to generate the public key parameters. It's different from RSA. You directly okay give the uh, public key and the private key for for one entity. Then the other one they they generate another pub, public key and the private key. But uh, in different Hellman, they share these public parameters. So the first step is to generate this public parameter. Then each user can use this public parameter to share key afterwards. That's uh, the process. And uh, here, here it's a uh, use uh, general public key, and it's a uh, different from ISA. Uh, it so you need to specify this algorithm is a Diffie-Hellman DH, and it's supposed to be capital. Um, I haven't tried whether if uh, it's a lowercase letter whether it works or not. And but before that, you need to specify I want to generate generate parameters for Diffie-Hellman key exchange. And then uh, this part is a uh, it's optional. So. Uh, we want to, in some cases, we want to specify how long the the public key parameter this P or like a Q here, excuse me, the Q should be. By default, the length of Q it has uh, 2048 bits. That's by default. And uh, here you can change this uh, key key length. Excuse me, not key length. This uh, parameter length. So it's uh, uh, in this example, I use uh, 1024. And if I change it to 48, it takes longer time. If I increase it to 4096, it, it might take uh, a few minutes to generate this. You see it uh, just uh, running, running, and uh, you're not sure when it will give you the result. Someone, uh, anyone know why it takes longer time if we increase the bits? So we just want to generate a prime. Now why it's so difficult? You see it's still, it didn't refuse to give you the result. And uh, in fact, the reason is uh, generating a prime is not uh, as easy as we might expect, uh, especially for huge prime. For most, uh, uh, in cryptography, there are some algorithm to generate primes, use uh, some, some math, of course, behind it, but uh, in most cases, when we generate an integer, it's very easy. We need to verify whether this integer is a prime or not, right? Like we can, okay, here we specify 248 bits. We, it can be easily generated integer in this form. Uh, the how can we be sure this integer is a prime or not? Now we may need to, okay, to test the primeness of uh, this integer. Okay, finally, it gives us the result. And uh, then this process, there are some algorithms to test it, but most of this algorithm, either it takes a very long time, it's much longer than this one, uh, then it gives you uh, the correct result, 100% correct result. So if it gives you a result, then it's 100% uh, Prime, that is uh, called deterministic uh, test, prime test. 
So if it gives you result, it's 100% correct. But it takes a very long time, maybe several weeks or several months. And uh, the other one is called the probabilistic prime test. That one is much quicker. But since it's probabilistic, if it tells you it's uh, uh, prime, mm, yes or no, so is there some error, in the error probability? Then to make sure in the end we get a prime, then it needs to repeat this probabilistic uh, algorithm several times to reduce the error probability of its result. So supposing uh, for this most of this program, uh, this uh, algorithm, the error probability for one is around um, 55 percent. And then you repeat this, change some parameter, you get another 55 percent uh, error probability. Then you repeat it maybe six times or ten times, you see, then you reduce the error probability very low to some level that we can accept. That's the, that's the process. Okay, now we have uh, this uh, key, and uh, uh, we have seen it, but uh, I just uh, clean, uh, yeah. I just uh, clear it, and uh, but it doesn't matter. And uh, we have these are the parameters we want to show. It's a parameter, but in this case, I want to choose a smaller, uh, smaller length to just uh, for for you to see how it looks like. Here you, you see, we generate these primes. It's in hexadecimal form. And uh, the generator here is 2. Mostly, uh, we prefer to use a small integer as its base to speed up this calculation. Then we have uh, 2 here. And uh, OK, this is a process of generating this uh, public key parameter. And uh, I want to save it to some file. Let's see. Because I will use it and it uh, it makes it easier. Again, it generates. To save time, I need to. Maybe it's better to specify. Parameter and uh, pen. I hope it's uh, quicker. Okay, we get this, and uh, now let's. Uh, if we take uh, take this uh, um, p key, and we take this uh, d h p, this uh, public parameter, and let's see. Oops. E key. Yeah, wait. Okay, yeah, this is a file, and uh, for some of for some unclear reason, I'm not sure whether I forget some uh, option here, so I I cannot uh, display it, but it doesn't matter. And uh, now I use with this uh, public parameter. I want to suppose I'm Alice, I'm a user one. I take this uh, parameter file, this DHP, this I just generated, and then I output DHP key pump. Okay, I generate uh, my private key and the public key pair. And let's see. What it looks like. P key. Input this and then text. Okay, here. This is uh, the user's private key. So it's uh, an integer, it's a big integer. 
Now, of course, you, you are supposed to choose a private key uh, big. Otherwise, then it will be vulnerable to brute force, right? And then there's a public key. This is a prime that we have generated before. And uh, it mentioned this is the generator is two. OK. And uh, we can repeat this for the second user. Let's, uh, let's do it again for the second user. It's quite quick. The same command, just to change, change the name. And OK, now user A, user 1 and user 2 both have their own public key and private key. That XA and YA, XB and YB. How can we share this? Then in this, we use uh, this uh, generator P key, uh, this command. We use this command. It's the public key utility. It's a public key utility, and uh, then here this option called derive, basically to derive the public key, the shared key from derive this uh, the input this in key mostly it takes a private key as a as a, the argument and then peer key that's a public key from user 2 here it's a dh pub 2 pam then it gives out this secret one bin because i don't want others to see it in text file so i just use the bin but of course you can use different format here then oops what happened? Ah, I know. Uh, because in this uh, in this DH key two here, it contains both private key and public key. But I only use the public key of the user two to generate. That's uh, what I'm supposed to do. So I need to I need to take this. Uh, Take this a private key and then take this a public key inside this a key and then output to dh part two. It's a, this form. And then let's see, do it again. Then, okay, we get it. And for the same purpose, I need to take uh, the private key and public key, this, the whole key of uh, user one and i also need to output its public key okay now it's fine and uh, then here in this case we need to change the input private key from as uh, the user two and the public key is user one and uh, in this case we output secret two is fine right and uh, let's let's uh, display this two secret this is a secret one and uh, this is secret two you see they are the same of course you can use uh, some command that directly compare this to secret one being secret two being it, it gives nothing, it means they are the same. Okay, let's uh, take a break, and then we will show how to how can we use this tool to, to encrypt a file, and then we are done.